It gives me great pride to introduce ketogenic, the science of therapeutic carbohydrate restriction in human health. Edited by, and with immense gratitude, respect, and pride for each one of you, Professor Timothy David Noakes, Tamsin Murphy, Dr. Neville Wellington, Dr. Hasina Kaji, Sarah Rice, Managing Edited by Candice Egnos, and myself, Jane Bullen. It is with such gratitude and pride for each one of you and for the incredible team at the Nutrition Network that has produced this book over the past years with immense passion, patience, courage and love. Our deep bow goes to each one of you and to every other person that's contributed to this extraordinary work of art and scientific contribution. Our immense gratitude for your contribution and commitment to changing the world and to changing medicine, one practitioner and one patient at a time. So finally, after a gestation period of about four years, we have the first textbook on the low carbohydrate diet. And here it is in all its glory. Hi, Mickey. It was a great privilege for me to work with you on the opening chapter of this book. And thanks so much for giving so much time to this textbook and for writing the crucial first chapter. Hi, Catherine. I just want to thank you so much for your critical contribution to our textbook. Your chapter is so beautifully written and is complete, and it sets the, the standard for what's going to happen in this book. So thank you very much. Hi, Eric and William. I just want to thank you both together for your contribution to our magnificent textbook. So thank you both very much for being crucial members in writing our textbook. Hi Neville, I want to thank you for what you have done to contribute to this textbook. Hi Amber, I want to thank you for, for what you did in contributing to this amazing textbook. Your chapter is one of the crucial chapters in the book. It gives me great pleasure to um, thank the authors of chapter three as well as chapter four. I'll start with chapter three, our endocrine chapter. I'd like to start by thanking Dr. Rob Sivers for his contribution to two sections in, the chap in this chapter. The first one being the liver. Dr. Sivers also writes about body weight. Dr. Neville Wellington, Thank you so much for your contribution to the type 2 diabetes chapter, along with contributions from Dr. Mark Kukuzela, as well as the International Working Group of, on Remission of Type 2 Diabetes. Dr. Neville Wellington also wrote the section on type 1 diabetes with contributions from Dr. Ian Lake. Thank you so much. Dr. Mark Kukuzela wrote... Adapting medication for type 2 diabetes in the context of therapeutic carbohydrate restriction. Dr. Eric Westman also contributed in how dietary carbohydrates affects blood glucose in the context of type 2 diabetes. I'd also like to thank Dr. Nadia Pataguana, who wrote the section on polycystic ovarian syndrome and infertility, as well as Dr. Laurie Rausch, who wrote the section on the adrenals and the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. I would like to thank the authors of chapter 4, written by Dr. Nadir Ali, with contributions from David Diamond and Sarah Rice. Thank you so much for this must-read chapter that really needs to be um, and taken apart and understood if we are to make an impact um, looking at insulin resistance as the root cause of disease. I'd like to sincerely honor and thank all the authors who contributed to the sections on neurology and cancer. So the following authors worked on the neurology section. They were Michael Hoffman, Meredith Kossoff, Eric Kossoff, Amy Berger, Georgia Aid. Anne Childers, David Pilmuta and Matthew Phillips, Robert Sivas, Joshua Rossi, 
Elisa Maria Rossi and Fabian Rossi, as well as Julian Fenwick and Laurie Rauch. In the sixth chapter on cancer, we wish to thank the following and authors, specifically Prof Professor Tim Noakes, Thomas Seifred, Gabriel Arismendi Murillo, Perna Mukherjee and Christos Chernopoulos, as well as Dominic Agostini, Miriam Kalamian, and Martha Tettenborn. Chapter seven, the musculoskeletal and immunological considerations. Our oh, massive, massive thanks and gratitude to Dr. Gary Fetka, Bob Kaplan, Dr. Sean Baker, and Sarah Rice. Chapter eight, gastrointestinal health and therapeutic carbohydrate restriction. Our gratitude to Natasha Campbell McBride, Sarah Rice, and Tamsin Murphy. We would like to send a big thank you to all of the authors of Chapter 9 on Exercise and Sports Performance. The exercise chapter's esteemed authors include Dr. Karen Zinn, Cliff Harvey, Timothy Noakes, James Smith, Christopher Webson, and Catherine Sands. We would like to send a big thank you to the authors of Chapter 10, Therapeutic Fasting, namely Drs. Jason Fung, Connor Ostoich, Mattia Stefanovic, Nadia Patagrina, and Nasha Winters. We would like to thank all of the authors of the final chapter of Ketogenic, The Science of Therapeutic Carbohydrate Restriction in Human Health. This chapter, Chapter 11, is entitled Psychological, Behavioral, and Ethical Considerations regarding therapeutic carbohydrate restriction and its application. The authors include Dr. Joan Adams, David Unwin, Jen Unwin, Trudy Deacon, Joan Ifflin, and Mark Friedman. Mm -hmm.